big boys. Those my big boys. So today I got Coda and Osita. Two of the rock stars from Leaf and Tecla. Or Leaf and Tika. Not Tecla. Tika. Tecla sister. So these are good boys, I'll tell you. Beautiful fellas. We've been hiking the rim trail and uh, we've been hard at her for quite a little time now. So they're they're ready for a stop. They did good, they're tired, and uh, I'm tired. And the rim trail runs all along the side of this big mountain here. So we're at that we're we're there and back. And we're just trying to make our way down now. And uh, straight back that way and about a mile that way is our yard. The big highway runs down this valley behind us and we live in the valley down at the bottom over there. So we'll make our way home. But I wanted to talk about these two rock stars a little bit and uh, talk a little bit about uh, some of the training and some of the commands that uh, I do and uh, what might help, maybe might help. Uh, when you get uh, pups like this and small pups like this, uh, they all know to respond to their name and the command right after. So really and truly you would call their name, you'd say Coda come, or Coda by me, or Coda sit, or Coda down, or Coda go ahead, things like that you would say the command right after. Now, if you want, you can use a lot longer phrases. My dogs understand full sentences. They're extremely intelligent dogs, these dogs. So I talk in full sentences lots. I'll say, bye to bring that guy here. And uh, I'll give her a signal at the same time. If I want the whole group to, to come, I'll say, okay, all you guys, buy me and signal by me and I point down to by me now if I want them right by me I'll use right by me and they should end up touching me and uh, right by me should should put them right like Vida now just by me means in the general area rather than say chasing a squirrel or after a moose or whatever I just want them in the general area now, uh, the main thing that you'll want to remember is when you use their name, you're using it to, to rec so they recognize you're talking to them and they're going to wait for the command right away. You want to make sure you get that command out there so they know what it is you want them to do the next step. You want that command to be right behind. And uh, everybody in the household should use the same signs and the same commands. And they don't have to be short commands, they can be long commands. I watched a video the other day, a guy says, uh, you shouldn't talk to your dog because they don't understand. I'm not sure what kind of dog he's got, but mine understand. I can talk in full sentences. And uh, they just about answer me back in almost every case. So uh, they can understand a lot. Now it's, it's a different, they don't necessarily have the same language, but they work in tone and vibration, so they know. Uh, take my vehicle, for example. I can drive any one of the five into the yard and all the dogs know which, that it's me, even if it's pitch black and they're in the kennel. They know it's me, so they don't bark. A different vehicle drives in the yard, they know immediately that's not the sound of my vehicle, and they all freak. So uh, they're very, very good at hearing, they're very good at understanding changes in pitch and, and tone and all of that. And so um, definitely you can have audible commands. Now if they're over the hill and they can't see you, you have to call. And so of course you're going to talk to them. And if you're, uh, if you're using a whistle or a clicker, things like that, those people do use those. I don't use them myself, but uh, uh, definitely those, those sounds will resonate with these guys. Now, um, when, you're, when you're first getting these guys home, 
you should already know what your hand signs are going to be for what commands. And so when, when it's by me, what is the hand sign? When it's come here, what is it? Is it, is it come? Is it come here? Is it by me? What, do, what are you going to use? And uh, you don't just have to use one. You can, you can have uh, by me to get them in the general area and right by me to get them close. That's, that's my version. You don't have to use that one. That gives you how I how I would do it differently, and then uh, you can uh, you can have a hand sign that correlates to that, so that if you want to walk and and hike silent, you can do that with just signs, so that they'll come and and focus. Now, the key thing with these young guys, you see, is you want to bring them in and zero them in like this, so you'll stop after. A, and usually you'll do some intense zero in training when they're played out a bit. So now he's played out. He's going to stay right here. He's going to focus. He's going to be right in my space. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy, Coda. Coda's a rock star. So this is where you can really bond with this dog because he's receptive to it right now. He's not trying to get away. He's focused on staying right by the handler. So these stops in the bush like are really, really good. Now I can get these guys over. They'll come. They'll sit. They'll stay. I don't have to hardly do anything. It gives me an opportunity to build a bond with them. They're modeling the big dog as well. They're watching the big dog. What the big dog does, they do. Now, they wouldn't need, this guy wouldn't need the big dog. Go to so personable anyway, and so polite, he'd come over and sit anyway. Now also, he's just doing a little exploring, which is fine. He's in the general area, and it's totally fine. That's what I want him to do. I just want him to get used to hanging around, not heading off on some trail. Now he knows where we came. He knows kind of we came up through there. He knows we were down there and back. So in theory, if he wasn't already fairly skilled he could wander on down but he's fairly skilled already so he can just hang out and that's the beauty of this Desna program now you have to you have to carry that program on so you work a little bit in places like this and then you come to a stop and sit down just let them hang out then just make friends with them be happy big fun time then move on again sit down again just let them let them explore the immediate area. It's not about exercise all the time. Exercise can be done in play. When you're out in the bush, just stop, zero the dog in. Move on, zero the dog in. Move on, zero the dog in. And you can just watch the dog get a little elevation spot. There's a good boy, Osa. There's a good boy. What a good boy, Osa. Oh my goodness, Osa. What a fantastic boy. Oh my boy, Osa. My big boy Coda. Man, you boys are good. All you boys are good. You boys are fantastic. My goodness. So big fun time when they come, right? I don't use treats, by the way. So uh, we use big fun time. Now, Vida, you see, is out exploring a bit. And when she feels like she's ready to come, she'll burn up here. Now, I don't know where about she's at. But if you want to use audio or audible uh, commands, verbal commands, my grammar, you can use a verbal command to bring her here wherever she is. Light up. Come by me. Now I have no idea what direction she's trying to come from. Oh, there she's coming there. Way to go, Vida. Way to go, Vida. What a girl. By me. Right by me. Right by me. Right by me. Oh, 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 oh. that's my girl, Vida. That is my girl, Vida. What a fantastic dog. Vida, you're so fantastic. Vida's a year and a half old. She'll be... Uh, in February 22nd, 22nd of February, she'll be two. And she's going to be bred to a 
Rockstar Male Torley. Kim's got him uh, out in Ottawa, and uh, what a magnificent fella. So Vida will be made it to Torley. Torleaf is the son of Pretty Boy Leaf and Tuva. And Tuva's down in the yard, so is Leaf. And so we're going to use that, that son. Vida is one of the last old Norland bloodline females left. Very rare dog. One of the rarest there is. But the only Norland female uh, outside of her sisters um, left in North America. So very, very good dog. This is, uh, this is an extremely good dog. Now those boys are just like Vida. Because Vida's dad's the great grandfather to those boys. Vida's sister's the grandmother. Which is the grandmother of those boys is Tora. Tora's uh, last litter she had uh, two daughters named, well she had more daughters than that, but two of the daughters that are in our breeding program are Kai and Tika. And those are Tika's pups. Vida has uh, has been helping me train for a, a long time. She was highly skilled. By by that age, she was a rock star already. Now, her brother, Mon, normally does my training, or has does a lot of the training, but he twisted his foot in his rocks one day, and he was hustling, and uh, just stepped back for a little bit better. Right on, good girl, good girl. And he twisted his foot, so he's uh, healing up there. It's almost good. He wasn't limping yesterday. We let him out. And I'm keeping him kind of quiet. He's got a nice pen, but he's not moving. Now, we don't run into feet problems or any hip problems or any problems at all, but they can twist things. They can, uh, you know, an accident could happen. Um, we've had folks with our dogs break a leg, stuff like that. Uh, caught it between a log on the way down a hill or something. But they heal up good, and sure they might uh, feel it on a stormy night, but uh, for the most part, uh, pain tolerance on these dogs is super high, so it can heal up and away they go. And uh, But in the terrain we're in, we're in some brutal terrain all the time, and uh, they can't twist up. So you, you, you know, you just gotta let them heal up, right? And uh, so Vida, of course, is taking over the training for these little guys. But one of the key things with these little guys, of course, is repetition. And so you can command a lot more with a pup than a big dog. So you could say, Coder, come here, 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 come here. Good boys, good boys, good boys, good boys. What a set of good boys, what a set of good boys. Now see, they they caught on to the repetition. And so they both came, because it was signaling and doing the repetition. Now, you don't have to do that once they're this age. You just say it one time, and boom, they're hustling. So what it did is allowed, jump over here. Come over here, buddy. Just uh, let me have a little space of quota. Good boy, or good girl. But just hang on. That's right, jump, on, jump back up here. <laughs> You're such a good girl, bud. What a good boy, Osa. What a good boy, Osa. Let me see Osa. Good, 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 good. What a good boy. You want to do what Vida's doing. You want to do what Vida's doing. You want to be just like Vida. I don't blame you. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. You do what Vida does. You do what Vida does. So yeah, you can, you can repeat the command with pups you can you don't overdo their name once you say their name once but you can repeat the command to keep them focused and keep them coming so those kinds of things down 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 you know what I mean but don't just say their name and then nothing make sure that you the name is to snap them to zero them and then make that command work and then at the end of it all, when you've got a dog at this, at this level, uh, what'll happen is she could be half a mile away and you can give a sign and boom, that dog will come. Takota will work with me on distances where I have to have a lens, my binoculars, stuff like that. He can still see me, 
but I can no longer see him without without some form of telescopic uh, vision and I can give him a signal to either go ahead or to come and and he can tell what it is and he will run for like I've seen him almost uh, almost a mile away and he will run the whole way I got video on him at a good half a mile out yes he might have to stop and check the scent maybe there's a marker or something he might stop for a second but he always but I don't have to repeat the command I can just give it and boom he will keep coming till he's done till he's there so I let them come and finish the command you don't have to over command dogs like Vida you just give the command once let her finish unless she cannot hear you or she's too far in the wind or she can't see you things like that now it's very rare for her to be out of my range it it would be a, a very rare day that she would get out of my range and so uh, it's not too often that I would have to give a banshee scream but I've been in situations where we've had threats and the dogs are dealing with the threat and I'm hoofing her the other way and then I want them to release and come so at those points I'll get to a high point give a banshee scream and away they go here they come now I also train in my banshee voice so that if I get spooked I can scream out stop like yes let her go whoa 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 stop and you know really belt it out and they know it's me and they they've heard it before and they've heard it in training and it's okay to them if you spring that on them all of a sudden in that situation and they've never heard your banshee voice you'll scare them and they'll be look like what who is that so always train a bit of your time in your banshee voice so that if you do let her out they've heard it hey boys come by me Koda come by me Osa come here come boys come boys Bada. let's see where are they at where are they at Bada. come boys where are you boys at Osa Koda Come boys, come here. What are you boys eating? So now those boys, they found a snack there. I think it's a bunch of moose droppings. We'll just walk up there and take a look. But there's no getting them from that. As good as my commands are, they're not leaving that snack. And that's where you draw the line. You got to let them have that win. And it's not a problem. Because they're not in any danger. They're totally relaxed. They found something they like. It's totally good. So those situations are all right. Now we would go down and see what they're doing. What are you boys eating there? What are you boys eating? What do you boys got? Now I'm not 100% sure what it is they like there, but they sure like it. All right, boys, well, I'll let you finish your lunch. That's a pretty good video.